My cooking style involves traditional Italian and French techniques with a little bit of a modern take. Every dish that we create in the restaurant has a little surprise. So I try to have something where guests can understand and comprehend the dish with a little bit of comfort, but also enjoy the dish in a way that they haven't had it before. My inspiration for cooking and the way I cook just comes at random times throughout my day. I might see a product and start thinking about it in a couple different ways and it springs a few different ideas. The amazing part about food is that it's so versatile and you can just do whatever you want with it as long as you make it taste good. This is Chairman's Reserve Beef Shank with house-made pepper deli, wild mushrooms, charred onion, and a stroganoff sauce. I braise the beef shank. I pull apart the meat from the bone in order to use it in the pasta. The beef shank is great to braise with because of its anatomy. The fat on the shank tends to melt away after a few hours of braising and really helps to evolve a lot of the flavor once you pull the meat out. The beef shank is also a great cut of beef because it is so large. It's able to provide a large amount of yield and a better amount of product for the restaurant as a whole. Something that really interests me as a chef, it's constantly learning different types of dishes from all over the world. Lately, I've been really into Russian and Polish food, and I wanted to make a dish inspired from stroganoff. I finish it with espalette pepper on top in order to have a little bit of a surprise for the guests while they're eating it. From many of the chefs that I've worked with, each chef has taught me a different perspective for food, whether it's been plating or technique. It's been amazing to be able to work for multiple people that have different backgrounds and the way that they teach people and the way that I absorb the information. This is Chamberlain's Reserve, shoulder tender. It's very soft, has a great taste, and can be used for multiple types of techniques. One of my favorite ways to use this is in beef tartare. The traditional way of making beef tartare is usually using a fillet cut. However, I enjoy using tender shoulder because it has a softer texture. The brininess of the olive tapenade matches well with the mint and really complements the flavor of the beef, giving it a nice amount of tang. The serrano aioli has a spice component that elevates your taste buds as you eat it. Eating it with the pumpernickel adds a little bit of crunch to the dish and reinforces the sweetness. Most people are really surprised when I use a beef shoulder tender because of how tender it actually is. It truly melts in your mouth. It's very easy to cut and very easy to work with. This is Chamberlain's Reserve Flank Steak. It's a very approachable cut of steak. It's very tender and absorbs strong flavors. To prepare the flank steak, I seared it in the wood fire oven in order to get a nice char and brushed it with a sweet and tangy five spice glaze. I always enjoy using a little bit of spice in every dish. It elevates the taste buds where it's a little bit of a surprise. For the quinoa risotto, we saute that with garlic and shallots charred scallions, and spinach. To finish this plate, I slice the flank steak and place it on top of the quinoa risotto. The quinoa gives it a lighter grain so you can still really taste the flavor of the meat. And it pairs well with the carrot puree because it brings in an earthy umami taste that reinforces with the glaze. 